It was a small Union Jack blowing in the wind that led Flight Lieutenant Paul Taylor to discover a gravesite of some of his countrymen. I pulled over, uh, went to see the gravesites, and straight away saw that they were all RAF guys. The British flag was flying, and I'm the only RAF guy based in Saskatchewan, so I, uh, I felt a connection straight away. More than 1,800 Royal Air Force pilots were trained in Cairn. Sergeant F.H. Bouchard, 28th of May, 1942. Ten of them died while training during the Second World War, some with their flight instructors. That struck Flight Lieutenant Taylor. This guy was a flying instructor, the same rank as me in the Royal Air Force. He's teaching young guys to fly. It's exactly what I do day to day. He was sending guys back to Europe to fight there. The guys I train, they're going to the places like Afghanistan and Iraq. So it's the same job. It's just 67 years later. A special ceremony was held to commemorate the fallen soldiers. Most of the crowd had never met these RAF pilots, but 85-year-old Wilfred Crosby has a special relationship with them. He dug some of their graves. Pick and shovel all the way, six feet. Uh, we didn't go any more than six feet, I'll tell you. Uh, all day doing it, kept warm. It was in cold weather, something like this. And although this gravesite has been set up for decades, pilots from Moose Jaw's 15 wings say it reminds them of their recent crash. You don't like to see any of your comrades or, or your fellow soldiers in Canada here uh, perish uh, at what they do, but it's, it's something that we all know that it, there's a chance of it happening and, and we live with that chance. A new flag flies over these RAF pilots, but the sentiment is still the same, lest we forget. Emily Elias, CBC News, Karen.